Let's say we wanted to integrate uh, x squared e to the x. So using uh, the late rule, u will have to be x squared and dv by dx will have to be e to the x. So du by dx is 2x and v is e to the x. So using integration by parts, this must be equal to u times v, so x squared e to the x. Take away the integral of v du by dx, so 2x e to the x dx. Now the problem here is that I now have 2x e to the x, which I must use integration by parts to integrate that. And so I've got to use integration by parts twice. So this time u is going to be 2x and dv by dx will be e to the x. So du by dx is 2 and v is e to the x. So I've got to make sure I draw a bracket here because I'm taking away u times v, so 2x e to the x, take away the integral of v du by dx, so 2 e to the x dx. So this whole bit in the bracket is the integral of 2x e to the x. So this is equal to x squared e to the x, take away 2x e to the x, and I've got minus minus, so plus, the integral of 2 e to the x dx. So I've got x squared e to the x, take away 2x e to the x, plus, well that just integrates to 2 e to the x, and I've got a constant of integration on the end. And that is how you could potentially use integration by parts twice. So x squared e to the x, or x squared sine x, or x squared cos x, all of these <coughs> will use integration by parts twice. x squared log x won't. So if you needed to do x cubed e to the x, then you would have to use integration by parts three times. Four times for x to the 4 e to the x. 40 times for x to the 40 e to the x. Okay? And so the problem gets that much more complicated with brackets and negative signs. It's unlikely that you're going to be asked a question to do uh, with integration by parts twice, but you never know. It could come up. So it is useful to practice it.